The Esuera Gnawa and World Music Festival is Gnawa's culture's grand celebration. Every year, thousands of people travel to this coastal town of Morocco to enjoy the region's music, dance, arts and traditions. The festival itself consists of a combination of big stage concerts featuring local and international artists with smaller, more intimate concerts focused on Gnawa music. This video centers the attention in these unique, up-close and personal encounters with the spirit of Gnawa music, reporting what was witnessed during three days of festival activities. You want to arrive early in Suera, at least by Thursday morning, because the festival officially kicks off the same day with a colorful parade that takes place in the late afternoon through the Medina. You can watch the whole video dedicated to the parade by visiting this channel, Cultura Music and Dance. The Gnawa Ensemble is led by a Ma'allem, an experienced musician and respected authority figure who plays the Hashhuj, also known as Gambri. The Ma'allem is accompanied by six to ten Krakesh players, among whom is a singer. <laughs> Gnawa music is profoundly hypnotic and trance-inducing. Their music concept, in true West African fashion, consists of call and response singing, hand clapping, and the use of krakesh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ceremony, the participants will use music and dance to achieve a healing effect by invoking an ancient spirit. <laughs> When you are in town during festival days, you can tell everyone is in the mood for rejoicing. Spontaneous street celebrations like this pop up everywhere.
Since the concerts are at night, you want to use the daytime to explore the town. Take a stroll along the relaxing seashore and enter the Medina. Walk up and down its main street or simply get lost in its dwindling streets where your eyes will be constantly stimulated by the sighting of beautiful crafts and arts. Esuera is known for producing argan products and while argan oil is the most famous one, you should also try the nuts paste as it is extremely rich and delicious. You'll find vendors everywhere offering fresh roasted almond paste and real honey. If talking about food has made you hungry, you can rest assured you'll eat well in Morocco. A stop by Nomad Restaurant to feast on traditional bread, hummus, dinjel, olive spreads and lamb will leave a permanent happy memory in your palate. Make sure that during your stay in Esuera, you visit a music store like the Esuera Africa shop where you can learn about the different instruments used not only in Gnawa music, but in Morocco and African music in general. The house where Saturday's concert was hosted, the Zawiya Seed Nablel, is of particular significance to Gnawa history, as it is home to the oldest Gnawa Brotherhood in Morocco. The Gnawa are primarily descendants of black people brought to the region as slaves centuries ago. They came from present-day Ghana, Senegal, Guinea, Mali, Chad, though some historians believe they may have come from as far as Sudan as well. Originally, the Gnawa used their dances, songs and music to ease the pain of their imprisonment. Numerous references to the hardships of slavery and exile can be found in Gnawa lyrics. Some songs convey the profound hurt of losing one's home and the trauma of being uprooted.
In this reportage, we have just scratched the surface of the vast, complex and fascinating Gnawa culture. With their history of adaptation and integration into Moroccan society, the Gnawa are living testament to the resilience of the African spirit and its ability to find ways to transcend and evolve in the face of adversity, ultimately finding a way to achieve healing through the profound enjoyment of music and dance.